Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. And people, there is a virus amongst us. No, not that one, although that also hasn't been fun. No, I'm talking about different motorsports all going to paid subscription services. I've talked about how the World Rallycross Series for 2021 went to a pay monthly format, rather than releasing everything for free on YouTube. Now, I'm not against the idea entirely. Why give something away for free when you can charge for it? But let's discuss how this could be a problem and how much a motorsport addiction could cost you. So remember to subscribe and let's begin. Welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Now you may be watching this and saying to yourself, but I'm a big fancy money bags with plenty of dosh and I love being taken for a ride by the big corporations. Well good for you, unfortunately for some of us, what money we get is spent on important things like bills, food, petrol and a large collection of inflatable kangaroos that are completely necessary. So it's important where my money goes. Not helped by a crippling motorsport addiction that leaves me watching hours and hours of car racing every week. So as time and money is so important, I'd love to have everything at hand and for as little money as possible. The organisers of motor racing championships everywhere disagree. They'll give you all the motorsport you could ever want and more for a price. Quite a high price. Now this is based entirely on the UK. I'm aware this may be different in other countries but for me this is how much it would cost if I wanted to watch all the motorsport I could. Starting of course with Formula 1. Now Sky does have the rights to every round but Channel 4 is free and shows extended highlights. But I want the full shebang and as little Eddie Jordan as possible. So we are going with a Sky Pass. Now I definitely can't afford a monthly membership and as I do tend to miss the odd race because of work and other circumstances, let's say I pay for a day pass on 17 different races, just as a realistic average. So that's a healthy £10 a race, leading to a total of £170 a year. Now I do get Formula 2 and 3 included in that and it also includes IndyCar as well so that is a healthy bargain really when IndyCar just happens to be on the same weekend which it is 6 times in 2021 which means that's an extra 10 races for an extra £100 for the whole season. Want to watch NASCAR too? Well then you'll need a Premier Sports Pass for a healthy £12.99 a month and NASCAR is on every month except December and January, so that's 10 months for another £130 a year. Here's a hint, it's not worth it and don't bother. What about the whole reason we are doing this, the World Rallycross RX Plus service, where I can watch World Rallycross and European Rallycross and interviews and stuff. Wow, that is so worth £50 a season. Although if you jump in now after missing a few rounds, it's only £20. And you can still go back and watch the previous rounds but we will call it £50 because we want it as soon as it starts. How else can I get my Rainus Nittis fix? Now, Rallycross is dirty, but what if I want even more dirt? Just the dirtiest dirt around. Then I need a WRC subscription too, and that only costs £90 a year. A bargain really when you think about it. Now, I also want some World Endurance Championship, and they are long races, so obviously you expect to pay a high price for it. Well, £60 a year for the Eurosport player, and you do get pure ETCR and some other stuff too. Oh, and you'll want to get a motorsport.com subscription too. How else are you going to watch Super GT? So that's another £40 a year. There's probably more as well. DTM is apparently on BT Sports, but I couldn't find it mentioned anywhere. And apparently it's the home of WRC. I thought the WRC was the home of WRC. And of course, the likes of W Series, Formula E, Extreme E, TCR Europe, British GT, BTCC, and plenty of others are free on platforms like the BBC, Channel 4 and YouTube. But let's face facts, how long until the BTCC moves to the ITV Plus service? How long before Sky grab the rights to Extreme E and Formula E? Eventually there will be a cost to everything. Now yes, I'm mostly salty because I'm poor and can't afford all these nice services and have to make do pirating them for free, which you can do for pretty much all of them by the way. But the question I want to ask, knowing that a perfectly good answer is out there, and it's not necessarily greed, 
Why are all these motorsports so spread out over different platforms? Why can't World Rallycross share a service with the World Rally Championship? The pair put together costs £140 for a season, when both for £100 would seem more fair and maybe tempt me more. World Rallycross have removed all the old finals from their YouTube channel, but they only got between 15 and 20,000 views. I have videos with more views than that. It's almost better for Sky to get all of them. Then at least you can watch all of them in one place for one price, apart from free, which you can also do. As much of a random rant as this is, if you can't afford all this, then it's difficult to get your motorsport fix. And if you are a potential customer, how are you supposed to watch motorsport and find out you like it? How do you watch your motorsport? Let me know in the comments below. Can you afford to pay the price? Let me know about that too. Leave a like and a share. Remember to subscribe. Nearly at 500. So, so close. So make sure you hit that button. Thank you for watching and have a good one.